Mr. Hi. Jared Harris. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. Looking yeah. very dapper. What a I beautiful like day for an award ceremony. Oh, thank you very much. Now, people people don't uh, wear tie clips anymore. It's disappointing. You know, there's so little ways that men are able to express themselves in fashion, and it's always in the accessories. So I appreciate that. Mr. Harris, thank you very much indeed, sir. Uh, congratulations, of course, for tonight. Thank the you. Crown uh, leading nominations. Yourself nominated. Are you are you nervous at all, or just excited? Uh, excited, terrified, um, and delighted. Were you, uh, were you at all surprised? I must have been asked this a thousand times now. Were you at all surprised by the way the entire globe really embraced uh, the crown in their arms? They knew going into it that there was a sort of tremendous appetite for all things British royal family. That was one of the reasons why they s said yes to the idea. But. Um, it was, it was gratifying that that worked, you know, and it was, and we didn't screw it up. So yeah, I think that's true to say. Uh, your own, your own character, unfortunately, since they're all based on real people, you yeah. can't stay in forever. No. But moving forward, I believe you're in a series called The Terror, yeah. coming to AMC. Now there you go, research. research, my friend. Yeah. Now AMC, it's known for, let's be honest, graphic violence. Do you, do you survive episode two of this next series? Wow, that's a good question. I can't tell you that. Obviously, I can't tell you that. Um, but there is some fairly graphic violence in it. But, I, I can't yeah. wait. And outside of the television world, um, let's just dip into movies for a quick second. Of course, a few months ago, you were the, the world of the Harry Potter universe embraced you as a potential new uh, Dumbledore, of course, taken after the role, made famous by your good father. It's gone, it's gone to Jude Law, but uh, was, it, was it a bizarre kind of time to, to have all these Harry Potter fans kind of screaming your name, desperate for you to take on the role? Was it disappointing really at all? I was aware of it because I was working in uh, Budapest at the time, so when all that suddenly started to get kicked up. But, you know, I think the, the fans quite often have their idea of how they want to see something, and, um, and it doesn't, you know, hardly ever works out that way, what I've noticed. But, uh, but no, Jude's wonderful, so... I'm be excited to see what he's what he'll deal with it. In safe hands, would you would you take a role maybe of Dumbledore's father? I mean, there's got to be there's got to be some way we can get you in there. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. makeup, makeup. Yeah. Don't you worry about it. Yeah. Jared, pleasure, sir. Good luck today. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh my God. Hey. 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 Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I haven't wanted to meet you. Uh, oh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick on your teeth.